CataractCoach.com. This is the best of Cataract Coach with our expert panelists, Dr. Rosa Bragamili and Dr. Deepinder Dhaliwal. You're okay. Oh, I'm done. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> it was All a right. Good Let's get the video back with you guys. I need the video on the screen. All right, Irish prolapse. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. So, starting off, what do you first notice? Someone's got an almond valve or a tube in the eye. Yeah. And now, the, what do you think? The dilation's okay, right? Reasonable enough. Not bad. And so we got an anonymous surgeon here. No, it really is anonymous. It's not my forceps, I promise. It's not me operating. Here's the hydro dissection with some sort of specialized cannula. I can't afford those. I'd use a regular one. And now, here we go. Let's see the technique. Looks like a pretty good horizontal chop. So far, so good. I don't see any issue with the iris at this point. Now, obviously, with the tube in the eye, you have to be concerned with the fluidic imbalance, right? Too much outflow, you're going to yeah. get the flow out the tube. Yeah. Right? You get the flow out of the tube, you get leakage from the incision, plus you get what you're aspirating down the tip. So, surgeon is a really good surgeon. I made mean, short work of that nucleus. Pow! This isn't even sped up. This is just three espressos. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's sped up. It's sped up. I know my audience. No one wants to watch this thing, this thing in real time. So, that's all cleaned up nicely. Now, look. Oh, oh, what does that tell you? Someone's going to cry. What happened with the iris of pupil just now? Nothing happened. Don't worry. Plow ahead. Floppy iris. Chamber stability. Zonal issues. It'll re-expand with the eye infusion. I don't know. I was on my cell phone. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys want to do here? Is floppy iris? I don't know. What about... This? There certainly was chamber instability and some maybe zonal issues. I can't really tell at this point. What do you think? It's just a little floppy. I wouldn't do anything right now. I would just... Assume. But it really came down, right? So I would inject... I don't know if you guys have it. I have intracamel phenylephrine. So yeah, we can get uh, some. Yeah, so I would inject intracamel phenylephrine at this point with maybe a little bit more lidocaine um, just to dilute it or BSS to dilute it and see what happens. It could be B That's a good C. idea. Like, you just don't know. It could be floppy iris, but it could be zonular issues. But do you have... Don't you have some, some uh, dilator in the, in the bag, in the BSS? No, I don't. Okay. Because no. I'm a good surgeon. But no. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gloves okay. are off. All right, let's see what happens okay. here. Let's see. Back to the video on this one. Back to the video, please, on this screen. Uh, Amy, people, this screen, video, please. Video okay. here, please. Can this screen go to the video? There we there go. There we go. Ah, there you go. So now the pupil's coming down. Uh, you notice it's prolapsing out the para even. That's probably a oh, bad sign, right? Oh. Oh, wait. It just looks like, I don't know what you're aspirating at this point. What's the oh. pressure in the eye right now? Probably not good. <laughs> I don't know. So here's some viscoelastic. That's, oh, that's, there's Irish pigment oh, coming out already. That's vitreous. There we go. Now do you feel better? Oh, oh dear. Oh, there's vitreous in there for sure, I think. Super I don't know. I don't, I'm asking you what's going on. I don't know. At this point, I do want to cry. And of course, it has to be a blue-eyed patient so you can see every little defect. So now, you, what do you want to do now? Decompress I, to get that iris back. You have to understand what's going on. You need to see and then you want to visualize. So you, you would have to put some viscoelastic back in. But so first so you you'll do get A, put viscoelastic back in. Well, then get I want to cry too. I like that answer a lot. <laughs> so I would go through the side port, put yep. viscoelastic in to push that iris down, and then I would put one iris hook sub-incisionally to hold that iris down and out of That's a smart idea. The one sub-incisional iris is going to prevent it from prolapsing again and again and again mm -hmm. and again. Oh, yeah. You're not going to ignore the prolapse, guys. I'm going to amputate it. What do you want to do there? Nothing. So just somehow get it back in the eye. Steve, we've got a wrong foot, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. So, all right. We're going to decide that somehow we're going to get the iris back inside the eye. We don't want to amputate it. We've got to figure out What's going on with the bag? Is there enough stability? Can we do something? And you have to touch the eye to see what the pressure is. If yeah. the pressure is really okay. high, you're in trouble, right? Yeah. There's something going on. So here's an extra so you para. Have to understand. Try to sweep it over. Oh gosh, look at that iris. Ay, ay, ay. That, here are the hooks, there including the sub incisional. Yeah. That's a smart. I That's like that idea. That's the most important one. Is a sub incisional. And so now it looks like the rex is okay. Here comes the CTR. Oh gosh, oh, the bag's moving a lot. Yeah. Hope it's going to go in there okay. And is then, this you operating? No. Oh, she, he said in anonymous. <laughs> I can't afford, listen, I got like movie star patients. I can't afford to damage a blue iris. Oh. They'll beat me. So there, now it's still prolapsing. Now what do you want to do? You've got to get it back in the eye somehow. I don't think there's, there's any vitreous, luckily. Well, get rid of that hook. Maybe a little bit of my call or my. I like that idea. That's yeah. a great idea. 
And definitely, I'm, I'm putting a suture. This is I me. Like I, I, I get a suture here. Mm -hmm. I don't need the grief. I don't need to see the Irish stuck in the decision 